Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Divyanka and I'm a PharmD. Here on this channel, we talk about pharmacy and career related tips and my one goal for every single video is to bring you guys some kind of value. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why I chose to work in the pharmaceutical industry as a PharmD graduate. Recently, in many of my videos, I've been mentioning either me job searching within the pharmaceutical industry or me wanting to be an industry pharmacist. So I thought it's about high time that I discuss why I even chose to be an industry pharmacist and what led me to making that decision. If you're a pharmacy student that's either in pharmacy school or that's thinking about going into pharmacy school, then I hope this is helpful for you to at least expose you to the idea of working in the pharmaceutical industry. And if you're a pharmacist already working in a different type of pharmacy career role and are maybe looking to make a career change or just wanna learn more about what it is like to be an industry pharmacist and what it means to work in the pharmaceutical industry, then I hope this is helpful. If you're looking to make a career change, know that it's never, ever, ever too late. One of my now friends actually runs the Happy Farm D and they career coach people to making drastic career changes and getting the job and the career that they want and have always wished for. So it's honestly never too late and I hope that this at least exposes you to the idea of working in the pharmaceutical industry. All right, so I'm just gonna begin this kind of with story time and how I even found out about the pharmaceutical industry. So within my second year of pharmacy school, I was working at a research lab at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, which is a cancer institute in Boston. And honestly, that's not a place where a lot of pharmacists get any type of experience. But my freshman year, I was working in retail as a technician and I wanted to find something a little more challenging. So that led me to working in a research lab. Now for one of the projects, my boss was working with GSK, which is a pharmaceutical company, and we were working on a compound together. At the time, I was very, very young. I didn't know much about the science portion or honestly anything, but I got to sit in on this meeting. And during that meeting, I got really interested in what the people from GSK actually do. So after that meeting, I had a chance to talk with them. And then after that conversation, I went home and ran a bunch of different Google searches about what it means to work in a pharmaceutical industry, what roles exist, kind of how that whole thing works. And when I did that, I found out that people with PharmDs actually do work in the pharmaceutical industry. So that led me down a whole path of researching more of what that's about and that led me to finding IPHO, which is the Industry Pharmacist Organization. And there I found out so much more information about the types of roles a PharmD can fill in the pharmaceutical industry and what that work looks like. So basically after all this research, I decided that I could possibly be interested in this. So the next year I actually applied for summer internships and I landed a summer internship at a company called Celgene. Celgene is now acquired by a bigger company called BMS, but at the time they were standalone and I got to do an internship in medical affairs. So basically that was my path into learning about the industry and what led me to getting my first experience in the pharmaceutical industry. Now, of course, at the internship, I did really like what I did. I liked what I was seeing. I liked what I learned from the conversations I was having with people. And by the end of that internship, I had decided that this is exactly what I wanna do with my career. And I think that was a very, very pivotal point. And I would encourage other people to kind of have a time like that where you decide what you want to do. Now, it's never too late to change that decision, but I think it's very important to make that decision so that at some point you have a goal you're working towards. This was only three years into my college career, so I had three more years to kind of make that a reality. And I think that time really helped. If I had graduated with no idea as to what I wanted to do, I think it would have been a lot more difficult for me to figure that out. So I'm really thankful that I had the experiences in college, but again, I was very purposeful about getting experiences, getting different types of experiences, and then at one point deciding what I wanted to do so that I could work towards that. Now, this is just kind of how I do things. I've always made my decisions like that, so I usually just make a decision and I don't necessarily look back on it. It's not just say that I don't make changes but I like to kind of make a decision and run with it so that I can actually make strides towards that goal but again that's what works for me if it doesn't work for you that's no issue at all but I just kind of wanted to bring that up so now let's dive into all the reasons why I actually want to pursue a career in the pharmaceutical industry the first reason is having the ability to have a sort of flexible schedule now of course you have to work a certain amount of hours in general but what I mean by this is it's not necessarily like some other pharmacist roles such as being being a retail pharmacist or a hospital pharmacist where you're bound by certain shift hours. Through my different internships and experiences at retail pharmacies and hospital pharmacies, I have seen that of course everything runs on a shift schedule, 
So for instance, at a hospital, you usually have a shift from either 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. or 3 p.m. to midnight, something along those lines. And you are definitely bound by those schedules because other people are depending on you to be present and able to work during those hours. So you can't just leave for a phone call whenever you want. You can't just go pick up your kids if you want to do that. And again, it's just a little more strict of a schedule. When you work in the pharmaceutical industry, again, it very much so depends on your company and the structure of your company, your manager, your team, etc. But in general, it's a bit more flexible. So if you do need to run to the bathroom or make a phone call, you are generally able to do little things like that. And that is actually very important to me and the lifestyle that I want to live. I also have a couple different side hustles, this YouTube channel being one of them. And I'm also actually a dancer. So things like that also take up my time. And there are some times and some days where I do need some flexibility in my work schedule to kind of attend to those side hustles. So again, it's just something that I've incorporated in my life and it is important to me so I wanted to have a job that would be friendly to those other things that I want to do and accomplish. Another thing that kind of comes with working in the pharmaceutical industry is the possibility of having the option to work from home. Now again this heavily depends on your company and your team but there is generally the option or at least the ability of the work to be done from anywhere. Different companies of course have different policies but for instance during COVID and this pandemic I think that the pharmaceutical industry in general was able to adjust a little more easily because the work that is being done is able to be done on a laptop or through calls virtually a lot more easy than it is to work as a retail pharmacist or a hospital pharmacist. Those jobs generally are not able to be done remotely. So again, in comparison, you at least have the option. Now, my second reason of choosing to work in the pharmaceutical industry is because of the type of work. When I was a pharmacy technician at a retail store and during my internships at hospitals, I did find that sometimes the work got mundane and this is definitely personal preference. But in terms of the pharmaceutical industry, I found that there are many, many, many different types of work and projects that you can be involved in. So daily, or weekly or monthly, the type of work you do can change. And I think that that's a little more challenging. I'm definitely the type of person that likes a good amount of consistency, but I also get bored very easily. So the different types of projects that you can kind of get involved in, depending on what department you work in in the pharmaceutical industry, really kind of spoke to me. And I found that that work could be a lot more challenging and it just grabbed my attention. I found that there's always room for growth, room for different types of projects, room to work on different teams, room to kind of move laterally throughout a company and maybe switch departments there's always room to do all of that so again with a long-term outlook I just thought I'd be happier in that sort of an environment generally people say that in the industry there is no ceiling now again that's totally a generalization there are many levels and different types of work you can also reach at in other realms of pharmacy but again this is just something that I do like about the pharmaceutical industry now my next reason is needing to have a business outlook on your work now because you're part of a sort of a corporate kind of culture when you're working in the pharmaceutical industry at the end of the day business does drive your work so I actually find this really interesting because I had to learn about kind of the business aspects of how a pharmaceutical company works and you have to apply that knowledge and that working every time you work on a project or anything you work on because again at the end of the day that's what it's all amounting to so I found this really interesting it's not something you generally learn about in pharmacy school but I did like that I had to learn about that and then implement it within my work now my next reason is to have more impact in the medical world now this is honestly something Something that a lot of people actually say as an answer to why do you want to work in the pharmaceutical industry let's just say in an interview but it is actually very true and again this is a generalization and very much so personal preference but what this kind of means is that when you're working on projects in the pharmaceutical industry at the end of the day when that project is successful you might be part of a long-standing project to get a drug approved for hundreds or thousands or millions of patients and that's what people mean when they say they want to have more impact at the end of the day your work can possibly affect thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people. Whereas if you're working in a clinical setting, you are definitely having an impact on patients' lives, but it's more on a personal level. So again, this is personal choice, but I do like the fact that my projects and my work kind of go a long way and are possibly able to impact many, many, many people. The next thing I really like about working in the pharmaceutical industry is working cross-functionally with other departments in the company. Now, cross-functional is again another kind of keyword term that people put on their resume 
or talk a lot about in interviews, but it is honestly very true. Through my internships, I found that I was working with a lot of different types of teams. I was sitting in the medical affairs department, but I was talking to the legal department, the finance department, the clinical department, the regulatory department, and that was really interesting to me because that made it so that I was interacting with a bunch of different type of people on a daily basis whose main job is something different than mine, and many times those people come from very different types of backgrounds than from what I come from. And in general, I think I really like interacting with different types of people on a daily basis because overall you just learn a lot more, you're exposed to a lot more, and again, it's just personal problems but I really do like that. Now my next reason is being an asset coming from pharmacy school. Now although the pharmaceutical industry is obviously based in pharmacy and based on the idea of a drug, like I just alluded to, many different types of people work in the industry and it's not all PharmDs. Because the industry comprises of more than just pharmacists, your knowledge from pharmacy school is so, so valuable. It is extremely important to understand the drug's mechanism from a scientific and a clinical viewpoint, and that is exactly what we are taught in pharmacy school. So when you're working on a project on a team, and if you're the only pharmacist, you are able to provide that kind of insight that you have learned from pharmacy school, along with the other aspects, such as the business aspect or other such aspects, and put them all together to come from a different perspective. And again, that is extremely valuable in these situations. So I find that I can be of value to different teams in different projects and my goal is to actually use that knowledge that I've learned in school towards these projects to of course make them successful. Now the last reason that I want to work in the pharmaceutical industry is because it excites me. I found that in comparison to my other experiences and my other jobs, my other internships, when I had an internship in the pharmaceutical industry, I loved going to work. I loved meeting new people. I loved talking about the work. I loved learning more. And when I noticed that I was generally happier going to work, it made me realize that I was very happy doing this. And I think that it really does matter if you're happy at work or not. So when I saw that I personally was happy in this type of environment, I thought that of course I should just pursue it and be happy for the rest of my career. Now I've talked about all the upsides, but I want to just highlight some downsides that the pharmaceutical industry might have. And one of those things that I want to highlight is that sometimes you do kind of have to take the job home. That is definitely a huge plus point when you're a retail pharmacist or a hospital pharmacist. Generally, now this is definitely generalization, but generally your work stays at work you can't bring your patients home so your work doesn't really come home with you whereas when you're working in the pharmaceutical industry your laptop easily can come home with you and you do bring it home so your work can also come home with that now generally why this is seen as something negative is because you can tend to lose that work-life balance and you could be working all the time and that's not healthy at all but again that's kind of up to you to set that balance but that can be seen as a downside now the next thing I hear often is of course you're not working in a clinical setting when you're working as an industry pharmacist and many people go to pharmacy school to work in clinical settings. Those clinical settings can be ambulatory care, a hospital, a retail pharmacy, etc. So if that is something that you really like to do, then of course you're not going to get that in the pharmaceutical industry and that may not be the job for you. But personally, I don't mind not having that clinical one-on-one -on -one patient interaction on a daily basis. That is something that does not matter to me personally as much. Overall, that's exactly why I want to pursue a career in the pharmaceutical industry and that's why I've gotten my first job in this realm. Again, I find it very, very interesting. It makes me happy. I find it intriguing. And at least for right now, it is what I want to do. I hope those reasons kind of gave you insight into why this might be the industry for you or on the flip side of things, why this might not be the industry for you. Again, if you guys are currently practicing pharmacists or pharmacy students or looking to go into pharmacy school, wherever you are in the process, I really hope this was helpful for you guys. And I really hope this provided some kind of insight for you guys. That is it for today's video. I'm going to stop blabbering on. As always, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below or feel free to email me. I do respond pretty fast, so don't worry, I won't leave you hanging. Thank you guys so, so much for watching as always. That is it for today's video and you guys will see me in the next one.